Uh, my name is Patrizio Lancelotti. I'm uh, the current president-elect of the European Association of FECO. And uh, I'm proud to interview today Professor uh, Tom Löscher, uh, who is head of the cardiology department at the University Hospital in Zurich, Switzerland. As editor-in-chief of one of the most prestigious journals in cardiology in Europe, so namely the European Heart Journal, and as well as the uh, ESC Publication Community Chairman. So first of all, uh, Professor Lucial, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. As I really understand, this type of interview uh, is not you, new to you. And uh, w what is really the concept behind this, uh, behind this uh, my uh, cardio interview? Well, uh, thank you very much for this question. We introduced this at the European Heart Journal and on the platform you can enter this and you can select the topics you're interested in and you can get uh, very, very up-to-date uh, uh, information from the presenters of the hotline at this Congress. We're going to do interviews about 20 with all the hotline presenters, uh, the clinical trial updates. So uh, within a couple days you can watch it at home. Uh, and get uh, more informal information from the presenters uh, of these important trials. So at this level, this is really a new thing? That is a new feature of the European Heart Journal. We wanted to make the internet platform more interactive. And we're going to also introduce interactive cases, which is particularly interesting for imagers, where you get cardiovascular flashlight and then you can click on it and uh, uh, then you can actually go through the entire case, how you get to the diagnosis, whether you should do an echo, an MRI or a CT scan and uh, uh, then eventually you'll get to the diagnosis. So these are is a case-based learning developed by the Education Committee that is accessible at the European Heart Journal and published in short form in the printed version as a cardiovascular flashlight. So thank you. Now, re regarding the ESC publications, uh, what is exactly the mission of the ESC publication committee? And the, I would say, what are the most striking initiatives under discussion within this uh, committee? Well, when I took over the European Heart Journal, I wanted to create a real family of journals. And uh, so the publication committee became very important to coordinate these efforts. So all the journals, uh, be it heart failure prevention, Euro intervention, um, Europace, uh, nursing journal, cardiovascular research, are linked to the European Heart Journal. So currently we ex uh, uh, accept about 12-14% of the manuscripts that are submitted. But another 10% of the manuscripts may be very interesting for, uh, for readers. Maybe they're too specialized, too technical, or a bit too preliminary. And then we send the manuscript once we have received the reviews. Uh, for instance, to uh, Dirk van Veltusen of Heart Failure, ask him, are you interested in the manuscript? If he says yes, we write to the author that unfortunately we cannot take it for the main journal, but we uh, will take it uh, in heart failure upon revision. So this increases the, the uh, manuscript flow considerably to the subspecialty journal and hopefully in the end also the quality. And you know the percentage of uh, this uh, subspecialty uh, papers refer to the other journals? Uh, it's around 300 manuscripts a year. Oh, it's a big number. Yes. And uh, l l let me go back to the ESC publication just to have uh, some more information. Um, it, if you, if we can say, what is the, the, your vision about, you know, the scientific communication over the five, ten years? Because we know the way to uh, export scientific data is changing fast. We have new technologies. We have to take advantage of uh, this uh, tremendous electronic facility. So w what is exactly your vision on that? Well, that's a very important question. We are uh, using the new technologies. Uh, we have now the European Heart Journal available on the smartphone. Uh, so you can check uh, uh, the, uh, the newest issue uh, while sitting in a taxi, if you like. Uh, we are also uh, working on a, an iPad version. So uh, that is probably a bit more easy to read. And we now also uh, send a list of contents uh, on a bi-weekly basis to all uh, participants and members of the uh, ESC Congress and Society, respectively. 
furthermore, uh, we want to make the platform of the journal more interactive so that you can have cases, you can learn, uh, and we also uh, have now uh, in preparation a slide set. So all the figures of interest, the schematics, uh, uh, that we draw for editorials or uh, review articles are now in a slide collection that is available within the next uh, two months or so where you can go into and say, you know, I have to give a talk on aortic stenosis tomorrow. I'll check what's in the, uh, in the uh, data bank of the European Heart Journal and you can download the figures and then uh, there, there you go. Uh, we hope that over the years and in collaboration with the ESC platform, uh, that we can increase uh, the uh, number of slides available and make this a true educational tool. Thank you. Uh, you know, one, one target for young researchers, we can say doctors and probably many cardiologists, uh, is to publish a paper in the European Heart Journal. Uh, what advice would you give them for having a paper accepted? Well, first of all, you have to think about the paper before you actually do the, uh, do the study. The most important issue is, in, is, is novelty. It has to address a new question uh, or provide more insight into mechanisms or provide novel data that uh, are stimulating for further research. And we have different uh, uh, features in the journal for that. Uh, we have fast track, both for clinical research and for basic research, if it's a bit preliminary, but very important, very interesting. And these papers are reviewed uh, if it's in five days. So we invite eight reviewers to have three of them uh, within five days, and then we reach a decision on whether we're interested to take it or not. And then there is the regular articles, uh, and here, of course, it has to be novel. We check in Medline whether this has already been published in some form or another. If not, we're highly interested. And then, of course, you need the power calculation, the statistics, uh, and the design right. Uh, and then, of course, there's also the cardiovascular flashlights. If you're more interested in, in a cases, in clinical cases, uh, we're happy to consider those. And as I mentioned, we are now a part of them, will be published uh, also electronically in more extensive form as case-based learning. So it really depends finally on the uh, novelty and the quality. Yes, yes. science is about ideas and uh, new things and, uh, and uh, I think uh, that you have to, from the very start you have to think is this really important and focus your interest on new things then you're a good researcher. So thank you. And before just finishing uh, and thinking about, you know, ESC publication, the European Heart Journal in general, what is in the pipeline? Well, uh, um, we will uh, further uh, improve the uh, ESC family. Uh, so we try to, uh, to get closer also to your intervention, to uh, serve the interventionalists. There's a new journal coming, Acute Cardiac Care, a new association will be formed and we will, of course, welcome them in the family as well. Uh, and uh, the electronic uh, version will become more important. Uh, as of next year, uh, the um, participants of this Congress will get the electronic access. Uh, we do think also whether we will do this also for the subspecialty journal, and if you want a printed version, uh, then uh, uh, you have to actually uh, cross that and have pay extra because the costs have become enormous and we want to go weekly with the journal uh, in the future so that the European Heart Journal is more visible, more present uh, and more uh, actual because then also the uh, time to publication is reduced. But this is associated with this more cost so we will uh, only uh, provide a printed version which is more expensive to those who really want it. And in general these are the elderly gentlemen while well, the younger guys they are fully online. So thank you again for, uh, it's time to, to close the discussion and thank you for having accepted this uh, interview. My pleasure.